Hey everyone and welcome to another cleaning motivation video. So today I'm going to be tackling five loads of laundry. So grab your snacks. I got some veggie straws, a core water, and of course some Celsius. And yeah, let's get into it. Whether you're doing laundry with me or if you're watching with a cup of coffee or a cold drink or a hot drink, I hope that you enjoy today's video. If I feel the same, the rushing through I started folding this first load the day before then my husband just sporadically thought let's go to the movie theaters so we went to the movie theaters and we saw the little mermaid which is a must see 10 out of 10 so cute so adorable I laughed I cried I sung along if you know you know and so yeah we went there and then I just completed the other four loads the next day so you're gonna see my change of clothes but yeah that's all that all goes with balance. So I got some home chores done. I took a break and then I spent some time with the kids, the family, we had fun at the movies. And then the next day I just continued where I started so that way I can enjoy my life at the same time, make my house under control with the chores and everything else that I have to do. So here I am with one of my baby girls. We're just posing and having fun in the mirror. Can y'all believe this is her fourth outfit for the day? She changed into a whole different outfit just to go to the movie theaters. But y'all know sometimes the movie theaters can be really, really cool. So she got her little sweater on. I have my little sweater on. I got my little bag so that way we can pack some sweaters. And yeah, um, some snacks. Going to the movie theaters. Y'all know how it is. So yeah, we're just having fun in the mirror. And now this is the next day. And so here I am tackling load number two. <laughs> I know that laundry can sometimes be a very boring and repetitive chore so that is why I decided to do this upload. I got some fun upbeat music playing in the background and of course I'm going to be talking, sharing y'all along and doing a little chit chat so that way we can do laundry together and it's something that we have to do and we can enjoy it compared to being a chore that we dread doing but we know we have to do to get it done because we have to wear clean clothes y'all. We have to wear the clothes and of course they get those a little you know dirty and then we have to wash them so we can wear them again so i hope that y'all enjoyed this video if y'all like these type of videos please let me know in the comment section and yeah i could make some more and we could chit chat in the comments about what we're doing and what helps motivate us to do those chores that we don't really like to do but we know we have to do them Okay y'all, so here I am, I'm gonna be asking for some advice. I want to know how do you do your laundry and it's sufficient for your family. So far I have hampers in everyone's bedroom and I also have hampers in the bathroom and so I would do each person's clothes a load <laughs> so i would take each person's hamper and just toss it into the washing machine put some detergent in it wash it then dry it and then put them on the hangers well usually put theirs up 
but I'm just doing it in this video because I want it done and I want it done correctly <laughs> but yeah usually that is how I do it and then the towels um, I will wash those myself and then I will fold and put the towels up but is there a way that I can possibly do it to be more efficient because I do so many loads a week like it's ridiculous <laughs> And I do have two 11 year olds, so I have introduced them into washing their clothes. So they do wash and dry their clothes. I know I have to get on them a little bit more about putting it up because honestly y'all, they will wash and dry their clothes with no problem. But the putting them up on the hanger or folding them up and put them in the dresser, that is the part where um, I wanna say they get a little distracted. <laughs> so it ends up falling on the floor or whatever and then it ends up being quote unquote dirty again so I have to wash it again and I understand because sometimes I will do that too I will wash a bunch of laundry dry them put them like on the sofa for me to get to them later of course I never get to them and then they start falling on the floor and then I have to wash them again so I understand where it comes from when they get distracted or they just run out of time but I want to know if you have maybe some suggestions or things that you do that helps you stay on top of your laundry loads because, yeah, it is something that I know I can get better at. I just need some advice. <laughs> So here we are on to load number three and this is where things start getting much easier because the first two was more of a catch-all hamper that I have in the washroom so this is when I am cleaning up um, the bathrooms or I'm cleaning up the front room and there's just clothes um, in the wrong spot so I'll just take it and put it in this catch-all hamper that I have in the washroom and so since it's everyone's clothes, it takes a little bit longer to sort through and put up. But by this being a hamper that's specifically for one person, it makes the job so much easier. I just showed a dress that's kind of stained. My kids have been having so much fun this summer. We have been painting and doing all kinds of stuff with chalk and all. So their clothes are getting a little bit stained. So I'm going to have to replace some of them, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, it was just and letting y'all know <laughs> that the laundry loads are going to go by so much faster now since they're sorted and this one load goes to one person. Let me correct myself, that load goes to one bedroom, it's two kids, my two younger daughters share a room. So the blue hanger is for one kid and the white hanger is for the other kid. That also helps me with the organization. Everyone has their own hangers. So one of my daughters have small blue hangers, one of my daughters have uh, small white hangers. And then my older daughters, they honestly share clothes, which I absolutely love and adore that they, um, you know, shop in each other's closet which I think is so cute <laughs> but they both have large white hangers and it just helps with keeping everything organized and easy for me and for them not to mention they're also at that stage where they also want to shop in my closet which for the most part I don't mind them grabbing some of my items so yeah it's just a fun point in their little preteen life which I love that they love shopping in each other's clothes
Okay, so we are at the 10 minute mark. That means we are halfway through. We only just have halfway to go. You got this. Just keep going with whatever you're doing with me. Keep going. We are almost done. Then we can enjoy that feeling of completion of whatever task. I have noticed that sometimes when setting a timer, it's incredible how much you can get done within a certain time period. If you are feeling discouraged or overwhelmed with any task, just look back at what you have accomplished so far. You have accomplished a lot, and so that way you only have a little bit more to go. So hopefully looking halfway at what you have accomplished, that will motivate you and inspire you to keep going to finish. You may hear some noise in the background. That is just my kids. They're in the front room watching the movie with their dad. They're having a blast. We got them some popcorn and they got some of the candy turtles and some other kind of candy. They're just having a great time. And I love that too because while they're in the front room having a blast, enjoying their summer, I can be in the bedroom doing what I love to do. And that is editing my YouTube videos that I absolutely love to put out because I love spreading this motivation that I get because I know sometimes I am at a point in my life where I just don't feel like cleaning or doing a chore or something like that and that's where I feel like YouTube is so helpful because I can just watch someone else clean or someone else study or someone else do something productive and honestly it motivates me and it gets me going some kind of way to want to improve my life and do what they're doing so I hope that this video is definitely doing that for y'all I hope that it's giving y'all some motivation to get up and do whatever it is that you want to do that includes cleaning studying um even relaxing sometimes we just honestly need to sit back and relax and just take our minds off of some things that we may be going through so i hope that it's just doing that for y'all and i know i always say this but it is really honestly the truth i really appreciate y'all spending some of y'all lovely time with me each and every time i upload a video Doesn't even make sense why I think about you. It was only one night, only that time, and it's not my style to be caught up in the middle of like this. Cause now I dream about you. I was probably too drunk, it's blurry, but I've got the image of you on in circles in my mind right now. And it could fade away, but it probably won't. Doesn't need
Okay, and so here is the fifth load. This is the very last load that I'm going to do in this video. I actually have a load that was in the wash machine that I need to put in the dryer. But I just saved that for the next day because I was honestly tired of doing laundry at that point. Um, between doing laundry, running with the kids, running with the dogs, getting a whole bunch of personal family time in in addition to laundry, it was a lot but we got it done so yeah this is the last load that i am going to be completing in this video we are almost done I got this boy in my mind that I can't live without all his eyes I can't be And he keeps talking about everything that he likes and I can't stop listening I'm thinking even though one of the kids chores is to put up their own clothes i'm happy i decided to do it today because i was able to go through a bunch of their clothes and see what items they can no longer fit and some items that we just need to get rid of so i can take those clothes that they outgrown and put them in a bag to donate them to charity so that is one of the perks of me doing their laundry for them of course in addition to them having a free chore that i decided to do for them <laughs> I say yeah, 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 yeah. You know I want him now, 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 now. I just say yeah, 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 yeah. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. I can make it brighter when it starts, when it starts. I told him I would do it all for you, and I know you do it for me too. I can be a fighter if you want, if you want. Yeah, I can be a fighter. Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we stay in bed I ought to say yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him na, 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 na I ought to say yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah I told him I can be a fighter Okay, my friends, so this about wraps up today's video. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. We got 20 minutes of productivity completed. Yay to us. I hope that y'all enjoyed the upbeat and the fun music that I selected. I hope y'all also enjoyed this little chit chat motivation that I shared with y'all. You know, just some cheering on because sometimes I know I need a cheerleader on my side. So I hope that I was able to be that cheerleader that y'all needed to keep y'all going. <laughs> So thank y'all so much for watching my video. Thank you for spending some of your lovely and valuable time with me. I hope that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video with your friends and family also so we all can be motivating each other. And I hope y'all have a great and awesome day. And you will see me in my next one. Bye y'all.